That's okay. Talk to you soon, Chloe. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep it open. Though, Welcome, so everybody. We are now recording, and this is Longevity Checkup. I think it's number eight. And uh, we've been having lots of fun just giving people a heads up and a checkup from the neck up um, and having some fun just educating people on our longevity life and why we think it is the best. And so tonight we have our welcoming back our warrior to our immune system, Grant McGinnis. He is a wealth of knowledge. He has a fantastic story on you know how he has brought longevity in his life and is living his best life and every day is a little bit better and so tonight we just decided to start a topic about something that is just so near and dear to the longevity world's heart and especially because it's been influenced by the mineral man himself dr wallach and so we just thought so grant before we go moving on on this why don't we just share a little bit about you to those that maybe not heard your story before and for this being recorded. Why don't you tell us a little bit about you, what you do and what brought you to the longevity world. Welcome. Sure. <laughs> well, back in uh, 2011, I was diagnosed with stage three throat cancer. At the time, I was a uh, retired uh, professional soldier. Now I'd been, I'd been an Aikido instructor for 30 years. I was fit. I didn't smoke, didn't drink much, didn't do anything. I, I, I lived what I thought was a very healthy life. I wasn't over overweight. I, I didn't, didn't do any. I didn't do anything. I was all. I did all the good stuff. I was one of those fit fit blokes. And I didn't work. I couldn't work out why I got it. And the doctors kept having a whole pile of rubbish about why I got it. And and I thought they they didn't have a clue. Um, and two years later, I was surfing through the internet and I found a talk, Dead Doctors Don't Lie by Dr. Joel Wally, and everything made sense. Um, I, got, I, got, I got throat cancer for, for several main reasons. The main reason was I was exceptionally fit. I sweated a lot and fit people died 15 years earlier than, than the couch potato. I didn't salt my food. I didn't supplement at all, and I didn't eat a lot. It, it didn't eat many eggs, um, and 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 I, and, I, and I suffered the consequences of uh, throat cancer. And throat cancer was <coughs> actually I didn't notice the cancer much, but the treatment nearly killed me. Um, I was um, incapacitated fully. I couldn't eat, talk, or drink for five months. So I, I was fed through a tube, and. Um, their life was a bit rough. My, I couldn't even have a conversation with my wife for uh, five months. I used to do this and this and this sort of stuff to her. Um, but that gave me time to think and, it, and it, it started me to think that there was something wrong with the system. So that when I found Dr. Dr. Joel uh, Wallach's talk, that dead doctors don't lie, it, 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 was, it was what I'd been searching for. And uh, yeah, I'm still here. Um, and if I, I don't, and I'm, and I'm fairly fit, um, still mostly, um, and I, and I bounce back and pretty well everyone else I know that's had throat cancer, stage three throat cancer is, uh, is either dead or, or nearly dead. And I'm, I'm a long way from dead. And it's thank, thanks to finding that talk. Well, you got a lot of years in you, a lot of <laughs> passion. And you're certainly living your purpose by creating the Warrior Immune System Facebook page. I know you got well over 5,000, you know, followers in there. You are educating people and um, your wealth of knowledge. So let's, um, what would you like to get out of tonight, Grant? What would I like to get onto? Get what? out of, what would you like to get out of tonight's talk? This was your idea. Well, I like talking about, look, I went to, I've asked, about five or six uh, pre-med students that have done three years at university. And I asked them a simple question, where do minerals come from? And they said things like the ground, um, uh, cows, cows make calcium, um, all sorts of stuff that I would have expected from a primary school bunch of kids. And um, these are almost doctors mm -hmm. and they have no, no yes, desire yes, as to where a mineral comes from. So I thought we'd get... I thought we'd introduce minerals and, and say where they come from and uh, um, how to get them and how we, how we can use them. Minerals have been around for, well, they started 15 billion years ago, which is a fair while ago. 
Can you still see me or have I frozen up? Yeah, no, you're oh, perfect. We see all oh, of okay. you. Yep, yep, yep. yep. cool. Yep. So, <clears throat> well, well, let's show, let's just give this a little head start because the reason why we do this little PowerPoint is so even after this call, if somebody wanted to do their own presentation, that they actually uh, can take this slideshow and they can do it themselves. And that's why we share this. So what we wanted to just highlight with our longevity checkup tonight, this is all about building a warrior system. And Grant, can you read this? Because this is, came from yes. you and this is, this is what our talk's about tonight. You read this. Okay, the nitrogen in our DNA, the calcium in our teeth, the iron in our blood, the carbon in our apple pies were made in the interiors of collapsing stars. We are made of uh, star stuff. Carl S Sagan, and he's a, uh, a professor on uh, astro, um, on the world out there. Well, I know, and I've felt in my DNA that I'm a star and all of you <laughs> on this call are an absolute star. So you can imagine how this gets me excited. Um, <laughs> We want to share that a two-time Nobel Prize winner, Linus Pauling, he said you can trace every sickness and every disease and every ailment in a mm. mineral deficiency, which we know that our very own Dr. Joel Wallach has been saying for over the last 50, 60 years that he has been, you know, um, sharing his mission, mission and message. Um, he's proven that over 900 different health problems are directly uh, related to a deficiency of the 90 essential minerals and nutrients. And you can find that in the most famous talk, as Grant said, dead doctors don't lie. Um, he has sold well over, I believe, 600 million copies, not sold CDs, but now we got links, so we can't even track how many people um, I've heard this. We All I know is some people that I have introduced or talked to about Doc Wall, they go, oh my God, I heard him speak like 15 years ago. And it's like, oh my, you know, so he's world famous on this talk. And if you've not um, heard this talk, get your hands on this talk. Um, and most importantly, this is the talk you need to be sharing. And the big element in here is how our body needs the 12 amino acids, the two fatty acids, 16 vitamins, and the 60 minerals. And so Grant and I are going to take, um, dedicate our uh, uh, three more talks after this about amino acids, what they are, about the fatty acids, about the vitamins. But tonight is about um, the, uh, the, the, the 60 minerals. And so in fact, minerals are the, absolutely the fact and necessity of life. And so what Doc will say is actually, Grant, you say this one really well about vitamins aren't the alternative. Do you wanna share this one? Because you do a brilliant job explaining this. I'll read it out from there. Real vitamins aren't the alternative to the body. Real, uh, real vitamins and minerals are, uh, Real support for them. Actually, I'll read a different bit. You, yep, say the, the way of, you say it. Yeah, okay. Lacking vitamins, the system can make use of minerals. Lacking, But lacking minerals, the vitamins are useless. Every cool. process of the body uh, needs minerals. If this was, does it say this was heavy? This was uh, my, um, um, I'm picking up, I'm picking up a heavy weight. I'll pick up this one here. If this is heavy, I have to burn a bit of calcium to pick up, to pick up this heavy weight. That contracts the mass muscle. If I release it, it releases a bit of magnesium. Magnesium is used as a relaxant, contraction, contractant, relaxant. So calcium, magnesium, or if I'm using my hand, I use up ma magnesium and, and calcium. And every process of the body needs minerals to, to function. And we, burn, we, we, we go through them. And the right. only place they're stored is the bones and the Excellent. teeth. Excellent. And like you were saying, you can't, you, you, you must have minerals to absorb the vitamins, but you can't absorb the vitamins if you don't have the minerals. Correct. Vitamins are useless without minerals. They, they, they won't work. And, and how amazing is the world doesn't know this. Like, unless you're in the longevity world, people do not know this. And, and even um, uh, pharmaceuticals. The reason that pharmaceuticals wear out from one pharmaceutical to another is that pharmaceuticals are dependent on a specific mineral, zinc or calcium or potassium or whatever. When the body becomes deficient in that particular mineral, that particular pharmaceutical won't work. So they move on to a different one. Wow, crazy. Well, tonight we're going to talk about what are minerals. We're going to talk about why do we need minerals and where do we find minerals? So I'm going to stop this screen and 
The floor is all yours. Grant? Thank you. Well, what I'd like to start with is a little story 14 billion years ago, which is a long, long time ago, there was a, a, a huge bang and there was, uh, there was uh, um, hydrogen, helium and a little bit of lithium. And that created a, a pile of stars, big hydrogen bombs, and they blew up. So we've got the periodic table. If you can see, you can see the periodic table. Everyone's seen that before. Basically what you can see on here are minerals, basically. So we've got hydrogen, helium, and that started 14 billion years ago. They created some stars, some big stars. They blew up. And then we went to lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, and, and down the pecking order. They blew up again. And then we went further down the pecking order, further down, and they blew up again. And then we went further down. And so three or four iterations of stars are, being, are forming and blowing up to create a, a product called gold. And that's, that's how hard it is to make minerals. If we put, if we put all the resources of uh, the United States, China and India together, they couldn't produce an ounce of um, um, calcium. Zinc. Or zinc. zinc, yeah, zinc. They couldn't produce an ounce of zinc um, because you, you, need, you need 14 billion years of, of um, suns, suns to come from. So the minerals come from suns. Then they, um, when the suns explode, we have little asteroids. They fly through the fly through space. Some of them came together and formed the Earth, and that's how the Earth was formed. Some of them form other suns. So we've got the Earth that revolves around the sun. As the Earth cooled, then certain minerals would come in um, and land on the surface of the Earth. Initially, the Earth was soft, and so that they just plunge in the middle. And now they they firm on the surface of the Earth. And we end up with sort of a random distribution of minerals all over the place. So they've, they've come from the sky, really, uh, landed on the earth over a long period of time. And even in one paddock, the, the, the distribution of minerals is not even. So the minerals aren't evenly distributed around the earth at all. There, there's a and that's where we have salt, you know, um, zinc mines and all the rest of it. And that's where the asteroids landed, basically. And, and that, 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 that's how we dig them up. Um, so that, that's that's where that's where min minerals come from. Um, yeah, Why do we yeah. need them? Or what? Well, if we um, if we don't have minerals, then we'll die. Obviously, we won't. Uh, a clear a clear way of looking at whether someone's mineral deficient. The most obvious one is anyone who's overweight is minerally deficient, basically, because the the the, the body knows that it's minerally deficient. It can't say oh, I'm missing calcium, I'm missing zinc, I'm missing pro, I'm missing uh, uh, um, selenium. It just knows that there's minerals in the food, so the, the, the body keeps on grazing. And another way of knowing that we're minerally deficient is <clears throat> if you have a really healthy diet, which is high in calcium, magnesium, boron, silicon, all the rest of it, <clears throat> the wisdom teeth at the back of our back of our jaws are used for grinding. Today, we think that they're a, a leftover, but no, if we feed our kids properly and they get a properly balanced diet with minerals, then their wisdom teeth are like normal grinding teeth. Um, and we know that because we've looked at hundreds of thousands of bones. That's a, it's a great storage of information and, 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 and they, they have to go through hundreds of thousands of, or 10,000 people before they find anyone that needs a filling. Um, and that no one needs uh, dental work done at all, you know, unless they've had a, an accident, you don't need a dentist. So that, that's where the minerals come. That's where the minerals uh, come from. Um, the, the other thing that people get con confused about is um, we have different types of minerals, metallic minerals, and we've got uh, chelated minerals and colloidal minerals. Metallic help minerals. Un, uh, yeah, help us understand that one. That's that because yeah. because that's when people go to the chemists. You Correct. know, they see the chelate minerals, and Dr. Wallach talks about just grounded up rock, and yeah. and I think our colloidal uh, minerals. Like, help us understand that. Cool. Okay. Metallic minerals are like uh, ground up um, uh, eggshells, um, <laughs> and or, or calcium carbonate or calcium. Ca 
all those sorts of the little, the little pills that you get from the, the chemist, um, the, the cal calcium supplements, they're, they're a metallic mineral and they, the body can't absorb them. Um, the, the minerals, be before they're broken down, um, before a plant can absorb them, they're, they're, first of all, they're wound down by glaciers, ground up into sort of a powder, then they're attacked by bacteria, then the bacteria um, eat the, the minerals, a little bit of calcium, magnesium, boron, silicon, whatever, whatever it is, that gets absorbed by the plant and then the, we eat the plant. So metallic minerals, we're not, animals aren't designed to eat metallic minerals. Even plants can't eat metallic minerals. It has to be broken down by bacteria first. And that's the missing link, bacteria or algae. Um, and that, that, that's, that's where the, that, that's the missing link. We also have the, uh, animal husbandry industry have produced chelated minerals. So they've got a, a ground up, they've got a very small mineral, fairly well ground up, and they've got it in a, a protein package and they call it chelated. Longevity have them as well. Normally they're about 40% absorbable. Longevities are about 60% absorbable. But the, um, the colloidal minerals, they've been, the calcium's landed in a meteorite from, from, from space been broken down by a glacier into a powder. The powder has been attacked by bacteria. That bacteria have been absorbed um, by a, a plant, whether a tree or, or a carrot. And then an animal has eaten all the grass or animal, an animal has eaten the grass. And that's, that's how we recycle it. When someone dies, the minerals get back or, 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 plant, or plant dies, the minerals go back into the soil. So the minerals get recycled. So some of the calcium and magnesium and boron and silicon in our bodies have passed through several dinosaurs over, over, you know, over the last 70 million years. Um, Longevity's colloidal minerals, these ones here, they've been in the ground for 70 million years. Um, and they've passed through several, several dinosaurs. They're sitting in the ground and, and, and we can pull them out. Um, there, are, there are places in the world that have had... Uh, by chance they've lived in high altitude places and they've been able to irrigate their, their soils with um, a glacial feed of, of uh, all the 60 essential minerals. Um, some of them are up near uh, Mount Everest, some of them in Nepal, um, they're all scattered all over that five or six places. Uh, but basically they've, and, and, and when that happens, people live, of, of, uh, the average age is about 120 provided they don't get killed by um, lions and tigers and bears and things. Um, and, and we don't live anywhere near that long. But Dr. Wallach says our long, young, uh, expected lifespan should be about 155. And that's probably because we're minerally, minerally deficient, hugely minerally, minerally deficient. So there have been people that, that have lived that long. Um, well, it's fascinating. It's fascinating to know, like, it sounds so simple. <laughs> yeah. And it's, it's like so lost and forgotten. And, you know, if we actually just went and blurted out to people that our um, plant derived minerals comes from dinosaurs and they would think it's a marketing gimmick, you know, like just but so many people just can't absorb, literally can't absorb this information. So <laughs> all the minerals have been passed through dinosaurs, like dinosaurs lived on the same net rules of nutrition that we live under. And every other animal lives under as well. The reason that the fish in the sea are, are, are dying at the moment is because the dams have, have blocked the, uh, the minerals that are coming from the earth, coming from the land, out to sea. That's why the Great Barrier Reef is dying, because the minerals have been blocked going to the Great Barrier Reef. The food supply has been cut off to the ocean. And so the, 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 the Great Barrier Reef is dying. The minerals are important. They're important things. Well, it's people like you and the people that are on this call, the more we can understand minerals, the more we can share it with the world, the importance of minerals, uh, the Doc Wallach message, dead doctors don't lie, and, you know, why it is like a, the, a key ingredient um, in our formulas. So um, I just really love something here, if you don't mind me sharing. Airport. you know about our minerals that if, if those of us that are taking these minerals you don't need insurance to be able to afford them that's right you don't need a doctor's permission to get them you don't have to be a genius to use them 
And the fourth point that you had on here is you never have to worry about dangerous side effects. And you'll be amazed just how superior they are to what you are taking, what people are actually taking now. The best drugs are pale imitations to these natural medicines and they repair hidden damages to our cells, organs and arteries and something no man or drug can actually yeah. ever do. That's, that's straight out of Dr. Wallach's book, by the way. Yeah. So, so I just wanted to share with everybody um, a little bit about how we're going to wrap this up um, on some key products. Was there anything else before I share um, what products we're going to focus on and feature tonight? Was there anything else you wanted to add before? I, I did. I, I, just as, as an example, um, because it's topical, um, I'd like to point out zinc because um, <clears throat> there's a certain virus running around at the moment and people with this that catch this certain virus end up losing their sense of smell and their sense of taste. Most people on this call understand, understand this, but this is basically due to a deficiency in zinc. Um, and you, the only way to, to get zinc is to, to eat zinc. You can't, you can't, you know, you can't manufacture it in a lab. So <clears throat> there are several sim symptoms of a zinc deficiency. One is pica, which means eating um, hair and all that sort of stuff. Loss of smell, loss of taste, infertility, miscarriage, birth defects, failure for wounds and ulcers to heal, poor growth, high rate of infant mortality, um, uh, and several others. Oh, anemia, alopecia, um, frizzy hair, diarrhea, depression, oral and uh, peroral dermatitis, weight loss, benign prostate um, problems, and uh, severe body odor. There, there's some of the other. Symptoms. Well, the big thing that I hear out of this um, is the tight. That all of these symptoms, I know so many, you know, we all know so many people who suffer them, but is the birth defects that, that are associated with zinc deficiency, you know? Um, and honestly, they don't talk about it enough. Um, you know, they talk about getting a multivitamin, a prenatal multivitamin, but they don't say why. And, um, you know, I just it, think just talking about zinc, that. Zinc really deficiency helps. is a, um, a Down syndrome. Um, that's, zinc deficiency one in 700 kids will have down syndrome for the rest of their life because their their parents mother and father failed to take zinc supplements prior to conception the time of conception and if only they knew so you know and that's why it's people like us that really got to get this message out um the importance of you know these products these these, these minerals and how they can get it um and what makes ours so special compared to and and, and, you know others out there and and that's that's why there's a high motility infant motility uh, infant motility uh, fertility rate uh, that's why our fertility rate is so low because um if if the women and the men had at the time of fertilization had optimum amounts of minerals there would be no hardly any need for ivf clinics mm. they would be put out of business Mm -hmm. there would be hardly there would be almost no need for birth defects they'd be put out of business there'd be there'd be nothing and and um that one that one that one gets to me pretty badly um yeah yeah well i feel it um and for those of you out there that are really you know dear to your hearts about fertility and you know this this topic i certainly you know, encourage you to find out more and be a warrior on sharing that message. Um, I certainly appreciate what you're sharing, Grant. Um, that's just one part of the topic tonight, um, yeah, but it's, yeah. a, you know, it's a massive impact. And all those other side effects you spoke of, um, you know, have massive impacts in people's lives. And like Dr. Wallach says, just one mineral can make that, make that big mm. of a difference. The congenital, the congenital birth defects with associated with a zinc deficiency are Down syndrome, which we talked about, cleft, cleft lip, cleft palate, brain defect, um, uh, small or absent eyes, micro uh, problems with the jaw structure, spina bifida, club, club limbs, webbed fingers and toes, missing limbs, digits, uh, hiatal hernia, 
umbilical hernias, heart defects, lung defects, and uh, other other defects as well. So, but yeah, so and they can all be avoided. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But ninety nine percent of them can be avoided. Put it that way. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You've been awesome to, and just you know, again, if anybody wants any of um, the PDF you have on this star stuff, they just need to reach out to you. And I know you said you'd share it, but uh, let's just wrap up what products we're talking about and then any questions we have. So getting back to, um, you know, where do we find our minerals <laughs> um, is our very own Longevity with its plant-based minerals from Utah. Um, and as we shared, we have these four fantastic products, um, our herbal rainforest, the actual plant-derived minerals, um, the strawberry kiwi mints and our cherry mints. Um, I do have to let everyone know currently cherry mints is just been put out of stock, but hopefully we should have soon. But I wanted to share one little special thing. And I want to thank Forrest Ivins for giving this. It was a little gift in a beautiful little bottle. It was a nicer bottle than this. Um, it was just water and plant derived minerals. And he said, Tracy, you know, if you get a little scratch on your knee, um, you can just spray a little bit of that on it, or you could just, you know, like fresh it, use it as your, your, your uh, primer or your, your mist on your face. Um, and every single day since then, and that's almost three years now, I've been using this. I've put a little bit of an essential oil in it, uh, depending on how I'm feeling or what I wanted it. But this is, you know, I put this on before my makeup, after my makeup. Um, I have one in the car just to, you know, just to keep my face cool. Um, but that's with the plant derived minerals. And that's kind of like my little um, doctor's kit that I carry, um, as well as I just kind of just, uh, as, you know, I just absolutely love it. And that's just with that plant derived minerals. The other I do one, that too. what's that? I do that too, Tracy. I have a little, a little spray bottle in a, a plant derived minerals and I spray my face every day. Yep, there you go. There, there you are. Skin is our biggest absorbent, so uh, why not spray it on the skin as well as uh, take it internally? So, uh, our biggest secret sauce, as we talked about, is the selenium. Uh, this has the cofactors that Doc Wallach talks about, i.e., um, like the zinc and other fantastic uh, cofactors. I believe there's five uh, that makes the selenium separate um, and head and shoulders above the rest. And so, as you talked about zinc, um, we got our zinc FX. This is just the lozenges. It's an easy one to take, uh, chew on. Uh, this one is currently out of stock, but um, soon to be available. But what we wanted to share is other products that are highly zinc supported. And that is our BioCalcium, our Vision FX, the Ultimate Cal, as well as the Prostate, the Pro Pros FX. Uh, write those down go and look at them online, go and see the ingredient list on them, what the other cofactors are in there and where it helps support you. Um, with the osteo, myself personally, with my, because I take so much osteo FX, um, MSN, um, I was out of, we're out of our osteo at the moment. So I have just loaded up with ultimate calcium um, and I'm loving it. It's been fantastic. And again, I'm feeling, you know, really good about what I, what I'm having, uh, knowing all those other cofactors are in there. So, but there's one other category of products um, that I just wanted to highlight in this because we're talking about minerals and we know our largest organ on our, uh, in our body is our skin. And so this isn't the best slide. It looks complicated, but it is just the bottom line. This is our mineral makeup. And what I just wanted to highlight in there is that if you look to the far left, it's hard to see, but there's only five ingredients in our mineral makeup and it's five actual minerals from our very own mineral mind. And these are the ones that make our makeup so special. And all those other ingredients and all the other lines that you can see is just all the stuff that are in there that are chemicals, carcinogenics, animals, products, uh, bioaccumulative products in there and preservatives. And so I love our mineral makeup. Um, it was one of the very first things that I bought in Longevity before I even was in the Longevity world by our very own Louise Adrian. So if you haven't checked out our mineral makeups, do check them out. So in finishing, we know, and those of you that are new, we talk about the five steps to better health. And we know the doctor knows best. He talks about the, take, eliminating the bad foods, eating the 90 for life as part of our wellness, getting the exercise, how important sleep is, and the added support. And so we hope you feel supported tonight by this call. 
please feel free to reach out to us if you have any uh, questions or want to talk about other supported products or how we can support you in your health or your wealth journey. Um, we know that if you give your body what it needs, it'll do amazing things. We're not just talking physically, we're talking spiritually and emotionally. So um, I just think um, it's been great, Grant, having you again tonight. Um, anybody here tonight has a question or want to say what they got out of Grant's call? What was super amazing or awesome? Anybody want to go first? Thank you, Grant. Thank you. Thank you. Was there anything else you wanted to share before we get any questions or anybody wanted to share? Um, I'm, I'm right, I think. You're good. Okay. Who here would just like to say what they got out of tonight that really was of value or um, any questions? Everyone's quiet tonight. I Did love that? the dinosaur story. Oh, the dinosaur story. Yeah, we, we, we share a lot with the dinosaurs. We do. Um, you didn't have any props this time. No, I didn't have my dinosaurs. I didn't have my, my uh, dassel, dassel with me tonight. Um, but, yeah, we do share a lot with the dinosaurs. We do forget, we do forget that they were we, around sometimes, don't we? And they're, they're still flying through the sky now. They're birds are dinosaurs. So we've still got them around. Um, yeah, yeah. But, but yeah, some of, the, some of the minerals in your body may well have passed through several dinosaurs before you got it. Uh, because they don't, they, don't, they don't get destroyed. They, you know, the, the fire won't bother them. Um, time won't bother them. They've been around for 14 billion years. So, you know, what's a, a few hundred thousand years? It's nothing really. Yes, but as usual, Grant, you were absolutely fantastic. Thanks, Brownwin. Thank you, Thank you Grant. I, can I just add something, Grace? Yes, please do. Uh, I, I just I try and simple it down to something as simple as the science on minerals is black and white. Your body doesn't make it. The only way you get it is to eat plants that have been grown in mineral-rich soil. Correct. And, or meat that's come from animals that have been eating plants that have been grown in mineral-rich soil. Uh, it's a well-known fact in Australia, particularly Australia, because it's a very it's a very old continent, so our mineral content is way, way down. So you just don't get minerals. And everybody understands the whole concept of our soils are depleted, which I'm thankful. Thank you, um, Cheryl, for bringing that, that um, subject on next week. But that it takes 10 seconds to describe the fact that everybody who's science-based absolutely gets it. Your body does not make minerals. Full stop. So you've got to get it from somewhere. And, and I think and like you said, the plant you know, like minerals are so good to bring to get um, get the the longevity products into somebody really quickly. Yeah, excellent. And like you said, that top layer of our soil does not have the minerals. Uh, they're completely de depleted. That the the minerals have to be dug from the you know deep within the within the the different layers of the crustacean. And um, yep. you know, yeah. And I'm really, really grateful. I, I got to spend time with a guy called Matthew Evans, who's a chef who runs Fat Pig Farm down in Tasmania. And he, um, I was at the launch of his book where they actually talked about minerals and he spoke about soil. And he said, he asked people um, what it's like. He said, basically, um, do you all like mac macadamia nuts? And uh, it was all about making sure that people are comfortable with what they're eating. And we all went, yeah, sure we do. He said, well, you better be comfortable with the fact that we, we shoot 200 cockatoos a day to get one crop. And he said, now, don't be talking to, don't be feeling sanctimonious if you're a vegetarian or a vegan, because the two worst things you can actually do to the soil is basically you cut down a forest and also plant a crop because you destroy a metre of topsoil just in that, in that process alone. So it's a really simple formula that people really understand. Mm. That's a pretty good formula. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you, Jeanette. That was really yeah. added value. Appreciate yeah. it. So. Well, before we wrap this up, was there one more person who wanted to add to the call? Well, I think everyone had a chance. So Grant, thank you very much. And again, uh, Sunday, five o'clock, uh, we're gonna have Cheryl Stivens on, um, yeah, growing a garden with minerals. So Beautiful. she's amazing and uh, she's in agriculture. Um, and uh, if you ever see her post, she's got the biggest, fruits and vegetables uh, grown and um, certainly beautiful. does cook and an amazing chef with all her beautiful uh, products and spices. So you guys have a great night. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank so you. Much, Grant. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Everybody. Bye.